Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today I want to talk about a conversation that I had with a friend of mine regarding why they were losing so many fish. And through the discussion, what I was able to identify was that they were uh, using an extra fast rod with their swim jigs and jigs and chatter baits, and they were losing a lot of fish uh, and not hooking up with a lot of the bites that they had. And I think, I think there's this misconception within the industry right now that fast and extra fast rods are the only way to go. And for sure, in the bass fishing world, they are like the number one uh, action rod sold. But I feel like we're getting to a point with our rods these days where the rods are at such a high performance level that the faster action rods are leading to a lot of uh, missed fish opportunities because the performance of the rod is that great. So what do I mean specifically by all of this? So if, if you're not familiar with the actions of rods, rods have an action and the action really just determines how much a rod bends and where that bend is in the rod. So I've just printed off this uh, little sheet and I'll put it up on the screen. But literally what it's showing us is that, you know, the bend in the rod changes as you get to a faster speed. So you've got slow action, moderate action, fast, extra fast action rods. With an extra fast, extra fast action rod, you can see the bend in the rod occurs in like the top 20 to 15% of the rod. Whereas with a fast action, it's the top 30 to 25%. A moderate is more in that, you know, 40 to 30 percent range, and a slow action rod has the most parabolic bend, where the bend of that rod is actually occurring in like the bottom third of the rod. So what does what does that mean in terms of the baits that we're using? So, you know, with a fast action rod, you're generally going to get a much better hook set, or the faster the action rod. A, a more power in your hook set. You're gonna be able to generate more power because the rod is, is not absorbing much of your hook set in motion. That, that power is being transferred through the line to your bait, so you're pulling your bait harder, setting the hook theoretically better and harder with more force. With a slower speed rod, it's the opposite because the rod is absorbing your power and your momentum so therefore your bait is not getting pulled as hard and you don't have as much force behind the bait to set that hook. So with a fa the faster action rods you go, you have more power behind them. And generally because of that, you have more sensitivity as well. So the less the rod bends, the, the more uh, that your fish bite or that movement of the fish you will feel because the rod's not absorbing it. It's being transferred from the line directly through the rod into your hands, and therefore you're feeling it better. That's why with a slow action rod, a lot of times you, you can't even feel the bite because there's not enough force from the fish transferred into the rod where you can feel it with your hands. So in the fishing world these days, I feel like that is, that is considered... Uh, you know, that the rod isn't a high quality rod because you, the, the, you're not feeling the fish. You're not feeling the sensitivity of the rod, which at times couldn't be more wrong because you there are, there are a lot of fishing applications where you it's better not to feel the bite because if you don't feel the bite, you know, the fish is getting, uh, getting your bait better and you're not going to miss those bites. And that's where this whole this whole conversation comes from, you know, with, so, so let me go back to the rods real quick. So with a fast action rod, the faster the action rod, the more power you're going to generate and the more strength you've got in the rod and the more sensitivity, the slower you get, you, you generally increase casting distance. And because of your, uh, the more absorption in the rod, the parabolic nature of the rod, you don't put as much force on your bait and therefore you don't necessarily rip the bait out of the fish's mouth as much. And you get longer distance casting because your rod loads up 
and you can really sling your bait forward in a sling, slingshot motion, which in some scenarios, you really want that. You know, if you're surf fishing on the ocean, you want to cast your bait a half mile. So those rods load up significantly more than a lot of our current uh, freshwater fishing rods. So to go back to my conversation with my buddy, he, he's been using a lot of extra fast action rods because one, that's what people tell him you should use because they're more sensitive. And uh, two, you know, that's just, again, there's a trend to go towards faster action rods. I personally think that's a big mistake in our world uh, mainly because our rods are becoming so sensitive and the blanks are becoming so good that the sensitivity at this point is not really that big of an issue. You should not need to go from like a, a medium heavy or a, a medium fast to an extra fast. There's really not that much difference in sensitivity with a good quality blank. The issue is when you're uh, throwing a jig or a swim jig or a chatterbait, you're going to have several instances where those fish are not uh, engulfing that bait as well as they should. So if you're using an extra fast rod, like I was saying before, it's only the top 15% of that tip is really bending. So when a fish bites it, your rod is trying to pull the bait away from that fish's mouth. So the bait's not being sucked into that fish's mouth as well as it should be when they strike it. So what does that do? That means you're missing the you're missing fish a lot because you're not the fish isn't eating your bait, so you can't set the hook on anything. And even when you do set the hook and you the fish has the bait in its mouth, a lot of times they don't suck it in as far, and you, that's resulting in a lot of skin hooks. You know where you've got them barely barely hooked on the lip, or just through a little bit of tissue. And when that happens, unfortunately, a lot of times you'll lose those fish during the battle because that piece of skin tears, it just, it, the hook doesn't have anything solid to, to keep that fish on. So you're gonna lose a lot of fish just right off the bat. You're gonna miss a lot of fish, you're gonna lose a lot of fish during the battle. You're also gonna lose a lot of fish once you get closer to the boat. And if you're trying to land that fish, at any point, if you take tension off that rod, you're going to uh, take pressure off that bait a lot faster than you would if you were throwing, you know, a moderate speed or a moderate fast speed. Because when you're fi fighting that fish, you you feel, if you're not looking at your rod, you know you've got tension on that fish, but your rod may only be bending that much from where the start of the bend is to your tip. So if you move your, your rod just a little bit or that fish comes at you, that rod tip's gonna pop right back up to the top. You're gonna get slack line. That hook's gonna back out. You're gonna lose fish. If you're fighting a fish with a moderate speed rod, when you've got that tension on them, you're gonna have a big bow in your rod. So if that fish comes at six inches or a foot at you, you've got two feet of rod bend to absorb that fish movement. That's gonna keep just enough pressure on your hook to keep it buried in the fish's face. It, it really makes a big difference, guys. You know, I, I, I've I gotten to the point where I don't throw extra fast rods for anything these days. I do have them occasionally rigged up uh, for deep water fishing if I'm doing ledge fishing, because in those scenarios, I'm making really long casts, fishing deep water, and I wanna have the power and the quickness of an extra extra fast rod to be able to set the hook with like a football jig or a big Texas rigged worm, you know, that's a mile away from me in deep water. And I want to have that sensitivity to feel that fish bite. But I have to be aware that when I'm fighting that fish, I have to really keep a lot of pressure on it because of the fact that I know, you know, at any point if that fish comes up and jumps, my rod tip's not going to absorb that jump much. It's going to, you know, there's a good chance you're going to lose fish because of it. If you do like the extra fast rod tips or you have them and you're finding that you're having some of these issues, I would recommend dropping down to a slower gear ratio reel as well to like a 6.3 to one or a seven to one to one. Do not go with super high speed reels with the extra fast action rods because that's just gonna, that's just gonna like double the effects of that extra fast rod. 
you know what I, if you're if you're throwing a six three to one and you've got it way out there what that's actually going to do is kind of uh allow you to take some of that force off of the fish because your reel's so slow so if you're cranking super super fast you know it, let's say if the fish bites your bait you may feel that bite faster with that extra fast rod because it's more sensitive but you're not going to pick up line quite as fast which is going to allow the fish to have a little bit more chance to to fully suck in your bait to get that hook set again i'm not a fan of extra fast rods guys i think the rods out there right now the quality is just continuously going up to the point where we don't need to hit faster or more sensitive um you know i think there's definitely a trend where we're seeing people starting to switch to more moderate speeds just because you do have a little bit more parabolic bend in the rod and you're not losing as many fish from it that's my opinion guys you know i i'm curious to see my buddy's going to go out and change up a couple of rods this year and see if it makes a difference and i'm hoping that it will you know i've gone through these periods where i switched uh you know before i was building my own rods i went from a uh, fast action to an extra fast action with my uh, swim jigs and I saw my my fish losses skyrocket because of it I've since switched back to fast action rods um, and I, I'm not having those same issues at all so let me know your thoughts guys I'm curious to hear if you agree or disagree leave a comment in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already thanks for watching hit that like button share it on your social media guys